College these days costs a pretty penny, and it soon could get even more difficult for students to find funding for higher education. News Channel 18's Krista Henry reports there are some changes to financial aid for next fall. Krista? Jeff, more college students than ever are competing for a shrinking pool of financial aid. But with legislation changing federal funding for college, many students are having to dig deeper in their pockets to get a degree. I am proposing that every state, every state, requires that all students stay in high school until they graduate or turn 18. During the State of the Union address Tuesday night, President Obama went on to say that when kids do graduate, the most daunting challenge can be the cost of college. And Purdue sophomore Adriana Hondras agrees with the president's statement. College is very expensive. I'm out of state from Chicago, so it's $43,000 straight out of my pocket. Like Hondras, Executive Director of Financial Aid at Purdue, Ted Malone, says many students continue to look for other options of paying for a higher education. We disperse a little over half a billion dollars of financial aid a year. But Malone says that several pieces of legislation will impact financial aid for next fall semester. He says graduate students who have government subsidized loans where the government pays the interest while the student is still in college will no longer have that option. But he says the changes don't stop there. There's a, a cutoff for family income. It was at $30,000 if it was below that. In most cases, you automatically got a zero expected family contribution, but they lowered that threshold to 23000 We can't just keep subsidizing skyrocketing tuition. We'll run out of money. States also need to do their part by making higher education a higher priority in their budgets. And Malone says with Purdue on track to switch to trimesters, he's hoping that will save students a penny or two. How much money that saves will be difficult to tell over time. Um, you know, we are working on financial aid models to help make it so that a student has a balanced amount of financial aid available over the terms. Malone says the deadline to fill out the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA for the 2012-2013 academic year is March 1st, but he says Purdue has set a deadline of February 1st. Krista Henry, News Channel 18.